Trains Trains provide one of the most time-efficient transportation solutions for traveling long distances. Most modern trains are powered by a diesel engine or an external source of electricity. WHO built the first railroad locomotive? In 1804, English engineer Richard Trevi Thick built the first railroad locomotive. It was used to haul iron from Penadaran Ironworks in Wales. Electric trains Electric trains are powered by electricity supplied either from overhead cables or by a third rail in the track. Since they do not have to carry their power generating equipment, electric locomotives are lighter than diesel equivalents and, therefore, capable of faster acceleration. Current conversion Many modern electric locomotives convert the high voltage alternating current AC, supply to the lower voltage AC needed by the electric motors that turn the train's wheels. The inverter converts DC back to AC but still at a lower voltage. The transformer reduces the voltage of the electricity supply from the contact wire. The truck carries wheels, brakes, and suspension. Diesel electric trains Most modern diesel trains employ a diesel electric power plant housed inside the locomotive. Rather than power the wheels directly, the diesel engine drives a generator or alternator to produce electricity, which operates the train's electrical systems and traction motors. Since diesel trains need no external power supply, they are used on rail lines where electrification is uneconomical. Engine power A rectifier converts the alternating current, AC, from the engine-driven alternator to the direct current, DC. An inverter converts this into AC to supply the motors. The diesel engine creates energy through internal combustion, power turns the drive shaft connected to the alternator. The radiator fan removes excess heat from the engine. Railroad trucks and wheels Every train section is supported at each end by a frame system, or railroad truck, in which the wheel sets, axles and wheels, are mounted. Some trucks can turn to follow bends in the track. The wheels are solid steel and run on steel rails to minimize rolling friction. Each wheel has a projecting rim, or flange, on one side that helps to hold it on the rails. Smoothing the ride A railroad truck has a built-in suspension system. It uses coil springs, dampers, and airbags to soak up bumps and vibrations caused by uneven tracks. The wheels stay in contact with the rails while the locomotive and coaches above move smoothly. Turning bends A long train with steel wheel sets traveling along steel rails is inherently rigid. To allow trains to follow bends, some modern railroad trucks have a built-in steering mechanism, with a steering beam and levers hinged around a center pivot, which allows the wheel sets to turn. Hyperloop A hyperloop is an experimental train that travels faster than a jet airliner. Passenger pods travel inside a tube that is a near vacuum. Air is removed to reduce the piston effect, a buildup of air in front of the train, and to enable the pods to travel faster by reducing friction. Electromagnets beneath the train and on the track repel or attract each other to generate lift and thrust. So there you have it. We hope that you learned something new. If you enjoyed the content, 
please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the following video.